Hey. There we go. And uh, yeah, he is the Fresh Prince to me, so I'm going to call him the Fresh Prince for today. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're very happy to have uh, Senator Will here, and uh, let me just set this up for you. Okay, and uh, he is um, 19th District, encompasses Eva Beach, Ocean Point, Eva by Gentry, Iroquois Point, and a portion of Eva Villages. He currently serves as the chair of uh, the Public Safety, Intergovernmental, and Military Affairs Committee, and as a member of the Committees on Transportation and International Affairs, and ways and means. Wow, Senator, my God, you are a very busy man. And he also serves as the uh, floor majority leader. Uh, so without further ado, mga kaibigan, and to find out more about uh, Senator Espero this afternoon. And again, I just want to remind everybody, this is an interview. Uh, KPHI does not endorse any particular uh, candidate, uh, but we do open uh, this KPHI forum for everybody who wants to come on. So, Senator Will, uh, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Uh, welcome to the program and uh, naimbaga malama po. Uh, good afternoon, Alan. Thanks yes. for having me today. It's a pleasure to have you here today, sir. And, um, you know, we, we appreciate all the work that you're doing. And uh, why don't you tell our listeners uh, what has been happening, uh, ano, po, ano po ang uh, nangyari sa inyo, at uh, ano bang mga resulta na nangyari sa ating uh, Senate um, hearings and sessions. Well, last session ended may of 2013 and we begin the sessions the third wednesday of january and it runs approximately four months so we're currently in the interim however last session i believe was a very successful session mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as many people know the previous years we've had to watch the budget cut the budget you know 2009 10 11 mm -hmm. were difficult years for the state as well as uh, for the nation as a whole, being in the recession which we were. And it does look like we're slowly getting out of this situation and problem. Oh, that's nice to hear, uh, Senator. Our revenues uh, for this year weren't too bad at all. As all right. a matter of fact, last year we did have a record uh, visitor count, and I believe we're projected to also have a record visitor count this year it may exceed or, or approach 8.5 million visitors. Wow, fantastic. So certainly we're getting travelers here, mm -hmm. and those travelers are spending their hard-earned dollars and providing for our tax base and our general excise tax. So this year we did have a, a few dollars to spend um, throughout the state. Uh, there were quite a few um, initiatives. Uh, we put money into schools, into the universities, especially UH West Oahu, which is on the west side of where I represent. Mm -hmm, we're, mm -hmm. we're building out a brand new campus there, as many people know. Uh, right now, it's about 2,500 students. And at complete build-out, we're hoping that the University of West Oahu will have as many as 10,000 students. All right. But obviously, that's a lo long-term project, something that um, is going to take, take more years and more funding. But besides the roads and schools, uh, we're also looking at um, funding organizations. We were able to put some uh, general um, or grants and aids out there uh, for nonprofit organizations that are doing some good things. Two that I've been involved with, uh, one included uh, murals in the schools. Uh, uh, Estria Miyashiro, a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. he, has the, he runs the Estria Foundation. Um, he's looking at working with 20 schools throughout the state and getting the students involved in urban art and taking ownership of the artwork and you know helping to beautify their communities and neighborhoods as well as um, put their effort and work into something constructive. You know, we have yeah. some problems with graffiti yes. and taggers, as you may know. Actually, there's a lot of graffiti artists around here. And some of them are exceptional, outstanding, talented. Some of them are awesome. Yes, yes. If you go to Kaka'ako, for example, mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. see all the work they've been doing <laughs> in the last six it's months. Comparable to New York graffiti uh, artists. Yes. Yeah. But urban art is certainly mm -hmm. a, a thing for today, and mm -hmm. I like to see more done. And we also provided a grant and aid for the... Hawaii Fashion Incubator. 
I heard about that. You you posted something that there was a l- recent launch of the Hawaii fashion. Right. Yeah. Um, this is the first time that we're doing Hawaii Fashion Month. Nice. Yeah. Throughout the world, you may have heard of Fashion Week. Yes. You know, Milan, yes. Tokyo, mm-hmm. New York. New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, we decided that let's take a week and make it a month because there's so much that we could possibly do. And the intention yes. of Hawaii Fashion Month is to help promote and e- elevate Hawaii fashion. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. have many mm-hmm. talented individuals here in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, as you know, Hawaii is a an international retail destination for fashion. Oh, yes. Uh, people, the tourists are spending, I'm going to guess, probably between... Six hundred and nine hundred million dollars a year. So it's wow. a huge market, and I'd like to see some of those dollars or more of those dollars trickle down to our local businesses, to our local designers, for the individuals involved in fashion. And that's one of the reasons why we're promoting Hawaii Fashion Month, and it will be the whole month of October. Is that the first time you're doing this? This is the first time we're doing it, and it's even the first time internationally because usually it's Fashion Week. Why Why did? Why now, Senator? Why did not happen before? You know? well, it just needed champions and advocates mm-hmm. and individuals. I, I'm working is. with, uh, I met two women who founded Uh, Mm -hmm. the Hawaii Fashion Incubator, which is Mm -hmm. a a fashion resource for Mm -hmm. emerging designers as well as established people. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. we were just talking about how can we help the local fashion industry. Mm -hmm. And this idea came up, and this is an effort where it doesn't take a lot of capital. We we don't have to invest millions and millions, but it's a matter of taking what we have and promoting it and branding it properly and and getting the word out so we're Excellent. we're working with many people um, abroad as well as here mm-hmm. and in the future what we want to do is have hawaii be known as october the month of film and fashion because we're currently cross promoting with the hawaii international film festival excellent and excellent. and october is a time where we could use more tourists mm-hmm. thus the idea of a, of a month of film and fashion is that a low month for us typically the october yes yes it is really usually well it's right after summer mm-hmm, and where, which mm-hmm. is the big rush and, and then school and, and right so right, right. everybody goes to school and excellent. september october slow and then it'll start picking up november december as the holidays come around so does that mean that eventually we're going to have maybe um major major designers come here like maybe carl lagerfeld or uh, you know these big uh, uh, fashion designers coming to hawaii i could see that happening in the future Mm -hmm. however the intent uh, in the early years is to build hawaii fashion Mm -hmm. so for example Mm -hmm. we have Mm -hmm. ari south who was recently on Project Runway, yes, and yes. she was one of the finalists, yes. and she's involved, and she's uh, helping Excellent. us. And there are other local um, designers who are participating. And if people go to HawaiiFashionMonth.com, uh, there's a calendar of events, and there's a, a slew of information. HawaiiFashionMonth.com. So those were two initiatives that we were able to provide a little money. Um, for the Fashion Month, it was 150000 mm. And for Estria, uh, the Estria Foundation, I believe it was about 120000 for um, these nonprofits who are doing good things in the community, um, trying to help others. And uh, that's what we want to do in the state legislature. That's great. You know, because I read, I read uh, was it a few months ago, they said that they had to cut the budget for uh, nonprofits. And there was a big whole article in the paper uh, saying that a lot of major services will be cut back because of the cutback in, uh, but this doesn't seem to, that does not echo that. Uh, that well, means. I think the article you're talking about was um, the city and county. Um, oh, there city was and a county. big issue right. on balancing the budget. Exactly. Uh, the city council wanted to fund more nonprofit organizations, right. but the mayor uh, felt that he that we couldn't and they couldn't afford it. Right. So that's the situation when the police officers got their raise because we weren't sure that had gone to arbitration exactly and then the figure was a fairly significant number that Mm -hmm. uh, had not really been planned for and Mm -hmm. thus 
um, there was talk about cutting back, and the nonprofits that mm-hmm. you mentioned mm-hmm. were one of the areas. So the so this budget we're talking about, we're talking about state government. Correct. Okay. Correct. So we're right. not talking about the city. Correct. Okay, right. So statewide, we're doing really good. Well, we're we're doing okay. <laughs> we're we're definitely doing okay. For okay. example, we were you're there, Senator. You, you That's know, why we're doing our best. But we were <laughs> able to to fund our. Um, hurricane relief fund because mm-hmm. in the previous years, uh, preceding years, um, we had borrowed money from the hurricane relief fund to help mm-hmm. balance the budget. Mm-hmm. And this mm-hmm. year, we were able to to put money back into the hurricane relief Excellent. fund. Excellent. And also, we were able to put some money in our rainy day fund. Well, so, I, I know I paid my taxes. So you should and, have some, <laughs> some and, money and, for me. <laughs> and I paid mine too. And I'm certain that most of you, your listeners out there paid theirs. So <laughs> they have no choice. Yeah, the, the state of Hawaii <laughs> thanks all of you for paying your taxes. You know, remember, we're, we're living on a small <laughs> island That's and true. collectively we have to work together That's true. and fund it together. That's because absolutely correct. if we don't pay for it, who's going to pay for it? Right? Absolutely. That's what it boils down to. Absolutely. And you can't expect a handout from Uncle Sam or some benevolent um, billionaire <laughs> philanthropist, <laughs> although by, that by would be island. nice. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so yeah. I... I tell children sometimes when I go to schools, you know, taxes are not bad. No. Taxes pay for your schools. Absolutely. For the military, for your police and fire. And it's just important that we spend the money wisely. Mm -hmm. There's no waste. Mm -hmm. And we make certain that there are outcomes that the public will benefit from. That that's the key when it comes to spending tax dollars. I also like your creative um, ideas of uh, getting uh, uh, promoting uh, Hawaii. For example, through this uh, fashion week that you're saying. I mean, that's another way to promote the state, um, not just through ads and brochures about travel but making it a, a fashion destination exactly. adds to the, the, that whole uh, mystique or that whole uh, reason why you want to come to Hawaii. Exactly. I've been speaking with quite a few people recently on how we can enhance tourism because yes. tourism is That's our it. golden egg the and bread it's and butter right going there. to be our golden egg for years to come. We're always looking at attempting to diversify the economy yes. and, and we do put money into technology, which we uh, did this session mm-hmm. uh, in agriculture. Well, we are look, We looked at supporting the film industry mm-hmm. and research and development initiatives in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, there are many creative people in Hawaii, many talented people in the arts, you know, um, you know, painting, drawing, uh, performing arts. Hawaiian music. Community theater, Just Hawaiian music, Absolutely. exactly. Absolutely. And I've been chatting with some individuals about turning Hawaii and Honolulu into this international destination of culture and arts. And it's just about of collab. It's about collaborating, working together, and and connecting the dots because uh, there are so many elements here and so much skill. And it's a matter of giving individuals an opportunity to share their creativity, their innovation. You know, we could be looking at um, not just arts, but when you talk about creativity, you know, software designs, you know, engineering. Um, you know, the That's tech- a whole other exactly. side of the, the, the coin. Exactly. Senator. Okay, and Senator, I'm sorry. I have to just uh, I have to stop you for now. Sure. We have to take a commercial break, and I'd love to uh, continue this wonderful interview that we have going on here. So uh, just a few minutes, sir. We're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to come right back. Alan Alvarez on the radio. KPHI. 